Hey guys, welcome to another video with Lock with Leilani. Who is Lock with Leilani? That is me. Today is St. Patrick's Day, and I will be sharing with you guys a very quick, cute little tear tray for St. Patrick's Day. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure that you guys like this video if you guys love St. Patrick's Day content. And if you guys are subscribed to the channel already, I'm so happy that you guys are here to be a part of the Lock with Leilani family. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you had any plans or anything that you were going to do for St. Patrick's Day. I would love to know about it. And on this very short video, definitely enjoy the music and enjoy the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay guys, so if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys saw these box of donuts. My husband, all weekend, he has been going out and bringing me back things. He's at work currently now, but he actually went out and brought some more donuts home yesterday after he took my son to work. And I was like, I'm trying to do this Weight Watchers and I literally have been trying to watch it. I ended up having pizza today for lunch. I figured, let me just go ahead and have pizza today, you know, since it's St. Patrick's Day and I'll get back to my eating healthy tomorrow. Cause I kind of fell off the boat. You guys know I fell off the wagon weekly with the Weight Watchers, I'll do four or five days, and you guys know it's hard. It's hard to just eat strictly vegetables, eat really healthy water, all that stuff, which is really good. I'm not knocking it, because those of you that can stick with it, that's amazing. I'm still a struggle. I'm still in the struggle boat. I'm doing that more than I'm eating bad, though, which is a good thing. I'm aware of it, and now if you were to see my grocery cart from, like, the last four or five months, I have a lot more healthy stuff in my basket than I do have junk food. And I have lost a few pounds. So therefore, I am on the right track. I'm actually going to sit down. I need to do some work in my planner today. I need to put some dates down. My son has some new dates for work. Um, they kind of picked up on his schedule. I think I told you guys, told a couple of my friends um, in Instagram space, anyway, my parents, that they kind of dropped his hours recently, like way down. He had like, I think, seven or eight days off, which is crazy. So they recently gave him four or five more days. He works at a department store. So I'm happy about that for him because... You know, working a day or two is just, hmm, it's just not enough time. I decided to come on and kind of chat with you guys a little bit and kind of extend the video because the video at this point was only like one minute, literally of me doing the tear tray. So I want to give you guys a little bit more time. So I figured, let me add a little bit more time to it. I try to do at least the very minimum will be a five minute video-ish. Um, at the height of it, I have done a 45 to 50 minute video, depending on what type of decor that I'm doing. I don't think that people usually like a really long video. I feel like 30 to 45 minutes is probably pushing it. But I think 30 minutes is like the probably the busiest video that you're going to do. But if I'm traveling and I'm going somewhere, you guys will probably get a long hour video or multiple parts of a video and such. So I wanted to show you guys what was left of these Krispy Kreme donuts from yesterday. My family knocked these down. I'm not going to even lie to you guys. I did have two yesterday, but this is the current box for... St. Patrick's Day. I think it was just for like the weekend. I don't know if it's like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I saw it on their Instagram page. It kind of was scrolling through because I follow them on Instagram. And do I get donuts from there all the time? No, because the area that I live in, it's like probably like an hour away um, going each way. It's, there's a new one in another area. Um, and then I don't have one in my area, which is good because they built a crumble cookie in my area and I kind of played that out. But I don't plan on going to crumble <laughs> anytime soon. But I did, um, you know go and you know to the opening of the crumble when they first opened and stuff like that that was months ago but you know i go every once in a while probably like once a month ish and i'll pick up a couple cookies cut them in half and probably sample a couple but i don't really eat like a bunch of cookies like that because i am trying to watch it now too so i'm just trying to be careful but my husband did pick these donuts up but um <clears throat> excuse me you guys know i'm still under the weather but i want to still bring you guys some content today because i have planned on bringing you guys even better content today i was gonna do something really fun today but I did not do that, so I ended up just staying home because I still am under the weather. I did go out, though, to pick up pizzas, and I'm good to go. I don't have COVID or anything like that. I just think I have the sniffles or something. I mean, I did have a little bit of a fever earlier this week for two days, and it was like a low-grade fever, and I just have not felt that great. So I'm just kind of just chilling today. I'm about to make myself some hot tea, 
some caramel apple tea. I cannot wait to make it by Bigelow. And I'm just going to chill today, guys. But this is the box. It says share the luck. And it has this a beautiful rainbow on here. And it says Krispy Kreme donuts. And you basically get a dozen. It has 12 on there. You guys can see. And this is what is left, you guys. There is literally five donuts left. So, yes, my family knocked out seven of these donuts. And they are literally gone. So, five of them are left. But this is how they look. I mean, it just depends on, you know, your taste and stuff like that. But typically, like, the second day that you have the donuts that come from the actual um, Krispy Kreme restaurant, I feel like the, the second day, the donuts are not good. I feel like the first day, if you can get them and the hot sign is on, that would be the best situation because they're going to be the freshest. But this one obviously got chopped by the box. Somebody did that. But um, over here, you can see this one has like a like a frosting on there. So it's like a little piece. My hands are clean. There's like a little piece right here on there, like a little shamrock. Over here, you have a bunch of just like colorful sprinkles with some frosting. They did another frosting on top of the physical donut. And then when you bite the donut, I didn't realize the donut inside was green. So they used green dye in the donut itself, the batter. And there's green frosting on top. So... That is pretty much how those look. And then they had a bunch of other options too. They had like some pink ones that had like cute little sprinkles and stuff like that. They had another one that looked kind of gold. And there was quite a few different ones. I can't close this with my hand good. So I'm just going to move it to the side. And then I was just going to show you guys some of the other stuff that I have here. This hat that I had on on the thumbnail and the intro of the video is basically a St. Patrick's Day hat that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I think that I did pick up one in the past, but this is the one that I picked up recently. It's the same exact hat. They did have those. They had a bunch of stuff, like a little small section of St. Patrick's Day items. And when we went to Dollar Tree days ago, my daughter picked up these little small plates. And you guys know, these plates are super thin. I don't really recommend them. Even the decorative ones are pretty thin. Sometimes they might be a little bit thicker, but typically they're very thin like this. So what I do is a trick. You can use these in the microwave. I just basically, super simple. I just take two. Usually I don't do three, but I'll take two and put them together. And I wanted my daughter to get the bigger size ones, but she got like the little snack size ones or like dessert plates or whatever. And then she also picked up this pack of the actual forks that go with it. I don't buy these forks because these are the mini forks. I usually get the ones that are like the tall full size forks. I did get two, two packs of those that day when we went, but she picked these up just for like St. Patrick's Day. So I thought that was sweet. And then these are some of the picks. If you guys remember from the St. Patrick's Day cake, if you guys have not checked that out, definitely go and check out that video where I did a St. Patrick's Day cake and I also did a mini fake cake with the little carrot topper and then I ended up coming back and I ended up switching it out and kind of making it a little bit different so now it is fully dried it is good to go so this is how it looks in here and it is a fake cake I did share this in another video it's you can see the foam on the bottom this particular floral foam is for like floral foam if you guys don't know it's basically for like um plants you know like flowers and stuff like that you stick your flowers in there and it's supposed to absorb the water i guess that's how that works so i do have that going over here i'm working on another mini cake as we speak and i'll show that one to you as, at a later date it's basically going to be for another holiday so i'm working on that one as we speak so i'll show that to you guys when i'm about ready and then um other than that you know what else do i have over here i have these um these lucky saint patrick's day cups i think i'm going to take these out and put them in my coffee bar i have some blue ones over there now they're like easter ones and the lids come off really really easy so i'm hoping that these don't do that and i told myself the last like two or three years that i'm not going to buy these cups anymore because the lids are very shaky like sometimes the lids fit okay but these easter ones i have back there if you guys remember videos ago i shared like the easter ones they're not ray done they're easter ones the ray done ones actually come off too the lids come off really easy sometimes so you have to be very careful so you don't burn yourself so I just recommend getting like a hot cup or like the Starbucks cup. You guys remember um, the one that I have over here that I picked up recently? This kind of cup works better with the lid on it. My son and daughter drink out of those a lot. And then I also have the cold cup. It's like a hard cup with the lid. So you're better off if you use one of those versus these cups. I have had a bunch of times where the lid came off and, this, and then this, the cup will squeeze with hot liquids in there while I'm driving. And I'm like, ooh, and then I catch it. I may have a little bit that spill on my hand. I might get a little bit burned. But for the most part, I've never like wasted all in my car or like on my clothes or anything like that. So that has not been that, myth, that much of an issue, but it, it's definitely a problem. So definitely be careful with those when you guys purchase those types of cups. I just will honestly recommend that you don't purchase them because it's just, they're, they're very sketchy. Um, another thing that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, I think it was last 
week, early last week or last weekend. I can't remember, but I did pick these up. These were on sale for 40% off. I know I shared these on Instagram. I'm not sure if I shared these here in the past video or not, but I picked these up and I do have a bunch of other ones. You guys know I told you guys about the ones I picked up at Walmart. So I do have a ton of them. So I really didn't need these, but these were 40% off. And as you can see, they were only $1.99. So I ended up paying like $1.35 for each one of them, which is like a great deal. It's a steal. So I did pick those up. I don't have a ton more uh, sweet treats to make at this very moment. I will be making something. I did something for St. Patrick's Day. I did the cake. I was going to do a cupcake and I ended up making a little small cake with those little six inch round pans from Michael's. That was interesting <laughs> and it worked out fine. So I will be using that again. I'll try that again another time. And then for April, we have Easter. So at the very end of April, we have Easter. I will be doing, I will be doing uh, a cupcake at the end of Easter. I do have, not the end of Easter, but the end of the month, I do have a Funfetti box cake that I'm going to be doing with some other, like maybe Peter Rabbit cupcake liners or something like that. I have a ton of other cupcake liners. After that, I'll probably do some sort of like spring cupcake and then um, basically going into May, I'll probably do something for Mother's Day. And then, of course, we have June and July, which is like the summer. You guys know I always bring you guys some type, some type of summer cupcake. I do have another um, Easter video coming your guys' way. So I'm probably going to upload that probably either Monday or Tuesday because you guys know today is St. Patrick's Day. And once again, I want to wish you guys a happy one. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day, right? But next week, I do have another video coming your guys' way. It's going to be another Easter treat. So if you guys will, well, not another Easter tree, but it'll be an Easter tree. So definitely check that out. Give you guys some inspiration to, you know, make some things for Easter. So you guys look out for that video. It'll be the next one after this one. And that is pretty much it, guys. Um, the last thing that I do have up here is this bake shop. It's a full-size spatula, a mini spatula, and then a cookie cutter. These are super cute. I had not seen anything by bake shop since the end of the year last year for like Christmas. Like Halloween, Christmas, I think was the last thing I saw. So when I saw this recently, and it's pink, and then it had a little carrot on the mini one, oh my gosh, I was in love. I usually take these out, I wash them, and I put them inside of one of my cups that's on my counter. And then what I basically do is like when I get ready to actually bake something or whatever, I'll just grab it out and I'll just whip up stuff. So if you guys can see over here, it's quite busy. I do have a little carrot spatula here, a couple little ceramic spoons, and then the egg spatula. So those are right here. But I still think I'm going to pull these out and just wash them and then just put them in this space as well. So then, you know, if I decide to use these for whatever I can. And also, if you wanted to, if you want to put the little one like in your coffee bar area, you could totally use that. And stir up your coffee too i know it's a little spatula but you can definitely use it for that i have done that before too where i have put it in my coffee bar area so yeah so at this point i'm basically just going to open up these cups i'm going to switch out the other cups and put these in there and i'm just pretty much going to chill you guys for the rest of the day let me show you guys something else that i did um a couple days ago when i went to dollar tree i was able to find some more of these little carrots i found all four of them i do have four of them these are the four that were offered and they're $1.25. Dollar Tree is still selling stuff for $1.25, guys. When I go and I notice that that price is gone, I will definitely let you guys know. You guys will be the first to know. Um, this is with the Follow the Bunny. He has chocolate sign. And this is a sign that I picked up at Dollar Tree weeks ago, probably last month. But I did kind of hang these little carrots on this side. Because I was like, what should I do with those? Because the other ones I have, I cut the little twine off of them. But these I left the twine on and then I just hung them up. And that's just what I did with them. So... Anyways, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys liked the little tier tray that I did and just kind of showing you guys some of the things that I purchased because, you know, I had these things already, but I still just want to share them with you guys. This is kind of get some length to the video, but I do hope that you guys had a wonderful weekend. I do hope that your Sunday was pleasant. You were able to spend it with family and friends, do something, maybe have a treat or do something really nice. I hope that you guys were able to do that. And until the next video, I will talk to you guys. Be safe and take care and I'll see you later. Bye.